nice. You're outside. You're getting sun. I like the walk by the lake. Even though Lake Parker Park has been on the northwest shore of Lake Parker for decades, it's probably the hidden gem of Lakeland. Some locals are still discovering it. Don't tell everybody about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they need to know. The park is less than 10 minutes from I-4, so it's convenient for out-of-towners, too. Most visitors will want to enter through Gate 1 on Granada Street. That way, you'll be closest to many of the big draws. You can come here every day of the week and make it different each time. You'll find fishing, soccer, tennis, volleyball. I could go on and on but I'll stop there because we need to talk about the trails. There are four paved loops. All are under a mile. Definitely a choose your own adventure opportunity. <laughs> this is a pretty big park, so if it's your first time, you might be a little concerned about getting lost. But don't worry, the lines on the ground tell you which trail you're on. Right now, we are at the intersection of the blue trail and the green trail, so it's super simple. Let's keep going. I love walking along the um, waterway. Near the lake and all over the park, you're going to find plenty of trees, which serves as a nice refuge from the sun. Not every park is as established as this one is with these big, beautiful trees. Gators are often spotted here right along the water. We have not seen any today, but you just might during your visit. Yesterday, we seen 11 gators. So it's a good idea to hold your child's hand near the lake. But don't worry, they can run free at the playground. Hernando's Landing is a must-see, especially for all the kiddos out there. There are so many fun places to play, like this pirate ship. She loves the ship. It's always the first thing. This is always the second tire her out, wear her out, and then she sleeps on the car ride home. Hey, adults might be a little worn out too after exploring all that this beautiful park has to offer. Just be sure to nap after you get home. And I have been seeing posts from members in the Walking Club Facebook group about Lake Parker Park. It's also a great place to get ideas for your next adventure and share photos of the fun places that you've been or you're going to. Just search for Sarah's Walking Club on Facebook. And just a quick note, James, uh, people who visit Lake Parker Park will definitely want to go to Gate 1 because the bridges connecting the north and south portions of the park are closed. So Gate 1 will get you to three of the four trails.